My name is Nasser Zayan. I'm a Bahraini American artist living and working here in Abu Dhabi. I have a background in architecture from the American University of Sharjah, an MFA in glass from the Rhode Island School of Design. With that, I think, comes an interest in place and time, landscape and memory, and an interest in archaeology that stems from my childhood. I had, like, had this memory of visiting a natural spring in Bahrain, uh, which is called Ain Adari. I remember visiting the spring and swimming, and, you know, the more I tried to recall it, the fuzzier this memory became. And so I decided to go back to Bahrain and revisit the site and try to pick up clues that might lead to some kind of answer. And when I did, it really just brought up more questions. I mean, I guess memory exists in this really fascinating place between fact and fiction. And so every time you try to recall an original experience, you're adding to the information that you've accumulated over time. The original spring does not exist anymore. It has gone dry in my lifetime. And because of this, trying to find traces of that original memory become very difficult. In making work about the spring, it becomes really important for me to manifest this idea of loss or this idea of disappearance. And so, you know, working with materials such as glass or sand become really specific and essential. Being in the glass department, I was also interested in alternative ways of making glass. So one of these finds uh, during my research was this uh, YouTube video um, of a 1975 BBC special uh, starring Shirley Bassey. And throughout the special, you see her singing at various sites around Bahrain, one of which is Ain Adari. But she's singing the song which is titled The Way We Were and sort of reminiscing about this lost love. Another song that I had found was from a Bahraini singer, uh, Muhammad Yusuf al Jumeiri, singing a song titled Adari. Specifically, Adari Wain al Mai, which translates to Adari Where is the Water. And in the song, he repeats this line, which is, you know, how long will you water those distant palms? Referring back to that original phrase and the title of, of this work. And so I really wanted to capture this song as a record, almost as an artifact of this place that does not exist anymore. So I used lines and lyrics from this song to create these cast tablets made of sand, which you know, erode, disintegrate, and disappear just as the memory of this place has. Recently, I recreated uh, several pieces from this body of work uh, for a show at Mass Mocha in North Adams, Massachusetts, which includes 30 of these cast tablets in various states of decay. And so presenting it as an archaeological dig, you begin to find these traces that, when put together, may form a larger story. It's in those spaces of uncertainty when the work really takes on a life of its own and becomes way more interesting. Well, just like memory, I think sand is this material that is constantly changing and constantly morphing. That's exactly how I want these stories to be told. They're forever changing, and you know, at some point they may not exist. Another work that I had been exploring at around a similar time uh, when I started the Adari project was sort of an exploration into how landscapes are changed by water. Uh, so I was using plaster and you know pouring it down the side of a mountain in order for it to follow the paths that water would take and eventually may create a cast or a documentation and a record of what is removed from that landscape or, or what is displaced. I guess the interest in archaeology stems from going to museums as a child. What you find in museums in Bahrain, you know, the artifacts were always presented in a certain way. There is an accepted form of displaying archaeology, of practicing archaeology that has come from a Western tradition. And so I'm very interested in 
recreating the ways that we interact with artifacts, that we document artifacts, and presenting them in alternative representations. Lately, I've been reflecting on you know, themes within my work, and something that's come up is this idea of coincidence. I remember a time when I had first moved to Abu Dhabi and trying to you know, explore the city that I stumbled upon this place, which was the uh, Zayani Cemetery. I started during lockdown, you know, going and doing internet searches and trying to discover anything I could about this particular place. I thought it might be a really good exercise to look at maps through Google Earth to find out how this place has changed over time. I would say that my current practice really began when I was selected to be a part of the Salam of Hamdan Emerging Artist Fellowship. This was in 2015 and I had just graduated from architecture school and um, was really interested in these ideas that were not really architectural and maybe not really art or not the art that I thought was art at the time. And so Sif provided me you know, with the space and the time to really explore. That's when the Adari project first started. I think through the creation of a lot of my work, I'm trying to recreate or relive this experience of encountering an artifact that may hold a story that has been untold or one that I want to learn. And so, you know, when I, when I show my work, I'm also not giving everyone all the clues. And so I want audiences to go through this process of discovery with me. As an artist, I think one of the most exciting things is meeting other artists and being in their studios and talking to them about their interests and their work. And I think it really provides uh, a depth of dialogue and conversation that um, is essential to being an artist.